the enduring power of friendship. Time for this week's how-to guide. What can be more fun, thrilling and safe than hurtling at 80 miles per hour around a poorly maintained rusty track? Don't worry, Rail Union, I'm not talking about you. This is our top five rules for how to survive a roller coaster. Rule one, practice roller coastering with this low cost virtual reality setup. <laughs> It was all fun and games until 20 minutes later when mum accidentally put her in the tumble dryer. That really was an exciting ride. If you can't afford a proper roller coaster, don't worry. These good old boys have come up with their own version and it's win-win because the money they've saved on safety equipment, they're free to spend on hospital bills and moonshine. Well, mainly moonshine. As this girl's found out, going on a proper roller coaster for the first time can be a real eye-opener. Rule two, remember, scream if you want to go faster. This girl is obviously finding the ride really slow and boring, and she's clearly desperate for them to turn it up a notch. I don't like this. Yep, it was boring, like riding a snail. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> this guy's daughter has taken him to the fun fair to celebrate his successful triple heart bypass and for finally sorting out his will. <laughs> Afterwards, they're having a party back at his house. Oh, correction, soon to be her house. Oh my God. Love you, pops. This is a touching and funny example of the enduring power of friendship. Or it would be if those two had actually met before. But it all turned out OK. They're getting married in the summer. Oh. Rule three, make sure you get a good night's sleep before you visit. Remember, theme parks are expensive and they make you queue for ages. So you don't want to be nodding off right in the middle of a ride and miss all the fun. Wake up, sleepyhead. You might miss the absolutely terrifying bit. Check out these two insomniacs. Roller coasters are the only thing that sends them off, apart from the gentle pitter-patter of raindrops. Sweet dreams, fellas. Put your hands in the air if you just don't care that you look like an idiot. Rule four, watch out for the UFOs. That's unexpectedly, fatal, objects, duck. Or maybe it was a seagull. This also applies to objects you're wearing around your neck. Woo! Woo! <gasps> Bit off topic, but have you got one of those new ultralight phones? They've cut down on the weight by making them out of helium. The only problem is, when you talk on it, it makes your voice go all squeaky. And finally, rule five. If you are not sure what to expect, there's usually a clue in the ride's name. For example, this is Splash Mountain. And for some reason, they call this one the Vomit Comet. No idea why. I thought the candy floss tasted a bit, you know, lumpy that day. And that, thrill seekers, are our five rules on how to survive a roller coaster. You got all that, mate? Yeah? <laughs>